Hey guys, so for today's video, I am doing a giant makeup collection declutter. I have decluttered so many products I haven't counted yet, but I'm pretty sure it's like over 100 products. You know how some YouTubers will say they're doing like a brutal declutter, but then they just like add more products the next month. I am decluttering these products to actually get rid of the clutter in my makeup collection. I am now on a mission to really just love and use my entire makeup collection. And I've been holding on to some of these products for so long and a lot of products I don't even like anymore. In case you missed it, in my video where I ranked all the palettes I tried in 2022, I did kind of a channel update. It's like seven minutes long. So if you wanna check that out, I'll link that down below. But I did kind of talk about the direction I want my channel to go in. So one of my goals this year is to really just enjoy and use the products on my makeup collection and not always focus on all the new stuff that's always launching. So I think the first step to get to that goal is to do a declutter and get rid of the things that no longer serve me any purpose. So I actually pulled all these products out of my makeup collection about like a week and a half ago. They're all sitting on the floor right there. So all the makeup in my drawers behind me is stuff I like genuinely want to use, stuff I like, stuff I want to get more use out of. And just that feeling is amazing and it makes me feel really excited about my collection again because there's not all this random clutter sitting in my drawers anymore. So just by pulling these products out of my collection, like I wanna spend more time in my makeup room, I'm having a better time doing my makeup. I did this makeup look for Instagram today. Like I've just been having so much more fun playing around with my products and that's what makeup should be, right? So I know this is kind of a long intro, but I'm gonna show you what I'm getting rid of. I probably won't talk about every single product because there is a lot, but we'll just quickly go over it. And then next week I'll be doing a makeup inventory where I'm going to count all the products that I'm keeping in my collection and like tell you the numbers, how many eyeliners, mascaras, blushes, bronzers that I have in my collection. I'm really scared to do that, but I think that's kind of the next step I need to do to really narrow down and curate my collection. I also wanted to add that please do not ask me for any of this makeup. Unfortunately, a lot of it is like three plus years old and just needs to go in the trash. But any products that are still in good condition and are still pretty new will be donated to Project Beauty Share. And let's get in to this declutter. So here's a quick overview of everything. I kind of already have it divided up just to make this easier. So we have like cream face products, lip products, face products, single eye products, brows, um, powder products, eyeliners, couple face palettes in there. So let's go through all this. Okay, let's start here with these cream cheese. So a lot of these products I've had in my collection for a while and this drawer was just getting very overwhelming. So I had to go through it. Let's start with these guys up here. The Fenty Beauty Matchsticks. I think I got these when they very first came out, which was almost three years ago, I think. I also just don't like this formula. They're very dry in my opinion, and I haven't used them in years, so these are all going away. I also have two of the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzers. Now this one is in the shade Macchiato, and I was going to add that to my project pan, but I put it on my face and it has a weird smell to it, so this one has to go, but I wish I could have got more use out of this. And then I have this one in the shade Amber. I haven't gotten much use out of it. This color is just way too cool tone for me. I thought it would work for me but I just didn't. I have a lot of these elf putty blushes. These came out was it 2020 or 2021? I don't remember. But ever since these came out, I have more favorite cream products that I like to use. I haven't used these in a long, long time and they're pretty dried out now, so these all have to go. I have these Huda Beauty Tan Tours. I think I got these when they first came out. I think Huda sent them to me and this had to be like, what, four or five years ago? These are old in my collection. I did get some good use out of this though. Like there's a pretty big dip in there. These were kind of before cream bronzer and contour were huge things. So these these are just really old and have to go. Gonna have some more Fenty cream blushes. These ones have a little bit of a smell to them too, so they have to go, but I do have some other ones I've really been liking, but I am sad to let these go. The Kaja Whipped Blushes. I like the color. I don't like the application. I don't think they blend out really well, so I just have not been reaching for these. I don't really like them, so why should I keep them? I have a couple ColourPop products. These ones I'm actually happy to see a little pan in. So this one is the shade Lunch Money. Cute. I used to use these all the time, so I'm happy I did get some use out of them. And this one is Flexitarian. I feel like so many of us have this one. But again, these are just really old in my collection. Don't really love the formula anymore, so these gotta go. I'm actually gonna keep this one, the Merit Beauty Stick. I don't know why that was in there. Next, I have the Anastasia Cream Blush and Latte. Now, I love this blush, but I have like messed up this packaging and it gets so gross and dirty in there that it's just kind of a pain in the ass to deal with. And then I hate 
I always open the wrong side of the product when I go to use it. I always open the brush side first and it's just kind of annoying. Um, I really do love this color. I like the formula, but it's just really messy to work with now. So I'm gonna throw it away. Um, Benefit What's Up highlighter doesn't really, nah, I don't like it. <laughs> simple as that. This milk cream blush is really old in my collection. I feel like this would pick up my foundation so I never really liked this one. I'm gonna keep this Merit one too. I want to give, I want to try this one a little bit more. See, and that's how we go through everything. This one is newer to me. This will be donated for sure. It's by Makeup Forever. First of all, it's so freaking hard to open this packaging. I, this nail's gonna pop off. Okay donating this don't worry and then we have this merit little highlighter and bounce the shade is just too dark for me so i really shouldn't have opened it when i first got it in pr um it is kind of pretty though but too dark for me honestly don't even know when i got this pacifica blush um i like the color i don't really love the formula i don't know not a favorite and then i have this ciate dewy stick this was kind of a cool product it's like a clear balm but it really picks up any foundation and makes my foundation look like shit so this has to go let's move on to some eye products so throughout going through my whole makeup collection when i opened my drawer of single eye products i probably haven't used any of these more than once and that's really sad and that tells me that I need to not buy these kind of products and not open these kind of products because I never get use out of them even I would leave them like sitting on top of my desk I just don't I don't grab for single cream eye products so why do I have all these in my collection so these are all the house labs one that came out when the brand first launched I think I maybe used it once but these are just pretty old now at this point I have these Dazzle Sticks by KVD. Now these are actually really gorgeous. They're just dried out now. So I wish I could have got some use out of these, but never did. I have these Juvia Place ones that I got this past summer. I really only used it when I did a sponsorship with them. So I'm gonna get rid of these. I cannot tell you how old this MAC mixing medium is. Also with this NYX glitter glue, so old. And then I have these about face eye paints. I think I used for one video when I did like that purple under eye. I haven't used it since. They're just gonna dry out if I keep them in my collection. Another Juvia's place. And then cream eyeshadow sticks. I tried to use these. I really just don't like how they look. I'd rather use a powder eyeshadow. I tried my best to make these work and I just can't. And then I have a couple random just single eyeshadows. I think I bought these like, I wanna say five years ago for some video idea I had. Have you ever seen me use these? No. Um, same with the Sephora collection one, NYX. I don't even know what brand this is. Uh, no, it's just so messy. Oh no, fuck. <gasps> that literally just shattered into a million pieces. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, I'm not gonna open this one, just put it away. Another ColourPop one. I bought this JD Glow Cosmetics one. It's a gorgeous, like, multi-chrome, but am I ever gonna use this? No. Then I have this one really old Wet n' Wild. I just don't use these. Let's move on to lips. So this is another category where I just need to be better about what products I open when I get in PR. I think pretty much all of these I did receive in PR. Some of these are pretty new in my collection and I feel bad about this, but I just need to be realistic with myself and not do this again to my collection. So here we go. Um, a lot of these are liquid lipsticks. I just really don't like liquid lipsticks. I'd rather wear just a lip gloss. So I have a lot from Sigma here. The Sigma lip gloss, I just don't like this color. Why am I hanging on to it? I don't know. So these all gotta go. A couple more Sigma ones. This one by Dominique Cosmetics. This color is just way too light for me. I should have returned it when I bought it. I think these are all three pretty new. These will definitely be donated. Um, they're by Too Faced. Like... Why did I keep this? And sometimes I think like, oh, I'm gonna keep a really good red lipstick to wear. I wear red lipstick maybe twice a year. I don't need to keep a whole bunch of red lipsticks just for that reason. Like the shade is so gorgeous, but I'm not gonna get enough use out of this. So these will all be donated because these are still pretty new and like barely used. Okay, then I have some other glosses here. I really just didn't like this Makeup by Mario one. It's really glittery. I don't like the color of this Tom Ford one. <sighs> and then I have these Makeup Forever ones that probably came into my collection just a couple months ago. I shouldn't have kept all these colors because when have you ever seen me wear these colors more than once? Like never, right? Going back to my red lipstick problem, I have this like lip liner, these old house labs crayons that never used, but they're pretty old now. Um, this Fenty one, 
I actually just don't like this formula. Um, I have one of the Fenty Matte Lipsticks, again, in a red shade that I have never used. I have a couple Huda Beauty Matte Lipsticks. Again, I just don't like matte lipsticks, and these are pretty old in my collection. They're definitely a couple years old. I have this Patrick Ta Lip Cream. I like this formula. I just don't like this color. I bought this one myself and I should have returned it when I knew I didn't like the color. And that's something I want to be better at. If I bought something myself, I don't like the color, really be realistic with myself. How many times am I going to use this? I've used this like three times and I don't like it. A couple dark lip liners I won't get any use out of. These little YSL lipsticks. This is so freaking old. I love the smell of these, but this has gone bad, honestly. I don't even know where I got this little mini one from. I always thought I'd like wear this color in the summer and I never have. Kind of same with this Sephora one. I don't really wear corally lipsticks. I also just don't really wear clear gloss. Another lipstick shade I just don't love. It's kind of the deal with all of these, so these are all gonna go. All right, this is a pretty small box here. Okay, so these are some pretty old brow products in my collection, the Urban Decay Double Down Brow. I don't use brow powder anymore, so I don't really need to be hanging on to these. I got some use out of it, but I prefer a brow pencil. These are pretty old from Urban Decay, the like inked brow. These were like intense brow pigments. Um, I used them a little bit, but not a lot. Again, another brow powder I don't use. This Nude Sticks brow gel I really did like, but the formula is getting like clumpy. Oh, oh that's really gross. Uh, yeah, got to go. And these are some mascaras I had open in my collection that uh, I just don't really like. This Makeup Forever one, did not like. This Cali Ray one says it's a tubing mascara. Don't agree with that, it did smudge and flake on me. And I do like both of these mascaras, but they're pretty old. I think this one I opened last summer, so has to go now. All right, moving right along to foundation and base products in here. Okay, this nail is gone. All right, first off, the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. When I first bought this, I loved it. I just bought it last year. I don't know what's happened to this packaging, but it's like getting all over the place. And now whenever I wear this, I just don't like it. It does not sit well on my skin. So this is garbage. The Newer Makeup Forever HD Foundations. I just didn't really like these. They didn't really do much for my skin. So why would I keep them? These two I'll probably donate because they're still pretty new. This glowish kind of tinted moisturizer. This is in the shade light medium and it's definitely more of a medium color. It is way too dark on me. So I should have returned this when I first knew it was too dark. And it's just way too glowy. Glowy. Like, I like a glow, but this is just too much. <sighs> okay, then we have the Pure Love Your Selfie Foundations. I think I bought these. What was the year that Raw Beauty Chrissy was obsessed with these? Because that's when I bought these. 2017? 2018, maybe? So, so these are just old in my collection, and I just don't wear full coverage foundations anymore. I have this Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue in Opal. Again, it's too light for me. This one will be donated. I have the Too Faced Born This Way Matte. I don't like a matte foundation. Why did I hold on to this? This one probably will be donated as well. Ooh, the KVD Good Apple. I tried to use this. I tried to love it. I hit some kind of pan on that, but it's just, I don't like full coverage. It's just too much, too much for me. I have this Keys like daily moisturizer. I just don't like this. I have a couple concealers here. This Tarte one's just really old in my collection. I love a good shape tape. The creamy formula is amazing. It's just too old now. The Fenty Beauty Color Corrector. I prefer the Sigma one now and I haven't used this one in a while. So this one's got to go. And then I actually have a Rare Beauty Concealer which is way too light for me. I bought this myself. I should have exchanged it for a deeper color. So I haven't really gotten much use out of it which I'm sad about, but I cannot make this color work for me. I have a Becca under eye corrector. I love this product. I got a lot of use out of it, but again, I love the Sigma one more now. I have a couple powders here. This is the Fenty one in lavender. I don't know why I bought this. Again, I bought this like when it first came out because I was like, oh my gosh, a lavender powder. I don't use this. This is the Jaclyn Cosmetics powder in Do Me. It's a luminous powder. Just don't really like this. It's a little too much for me. Ofra banana powder. This is so old. This is the Sigma Beaming Glow Powder. They have a new kind of matte version, which I like that one, I use that a lot, but this glow one, I don't like. I just don't like a glowy loose powder. I don't know how to use them. I don't think they look very good. This will be donated for sure, because it's pretty new. This is an old product in my collection. It's the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Like, it's hardened over in some areas. This one's just old, 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 has got to go. I have a couple kind of foundation-y powders. This is the Bare Pro in 
That says fair warm. That looks dark to me. Uh, this will definitely be donated. It's pretty new. I have a Too Faced powder in vanilla. Actually, I might give this to my mom because this is the shade she wears. And then I have a ColourPop Pretty Fresh one. Again, I just really haven't gotten any use out of this. Don't need it. A Bare Minerals powder concealer. I've used this like twice. I would just, I would rather use a liquid concealer, you know? Okay, I have some powder blushes here. These ColourPop Heart ones just came out last Valentine's Day. I tried to get use out of these. I've had these in my collection and like meaning to use them, but I'm never gonna use a shade like this. I keep telling myself I would because it was really unique to my collection. And although it's unique, I need to be realistic with like, am I actually gonna get a lot of use out of this? No, so these will be donated. But I do love this packaging. I did keep two colors because I like the two colors I kept. This is another old one. It's a Cover Effects Duo. Every time I look at this, I wanna keep it, but I'm like, I have not used this in the past two years. Um, this is a blush I bought myself. This color is just way too crazy. It's not something I like to wear, so this will be donated. I have this Flower Beauty blush. Don't really care for the formula, honestly. I have this Jason Wu blush palette. Just again, don't, oh, hello. Again, just don't really care for it. I just have products I like more than I'm trying to use, you know? I have this ColourPop one. I think I kept it just for the packaging. I love this packaging, but don't use it. Pretty much the case with all these. These are so old. Laura Geller baked blushes. Old, old, old. Don't really like this one from Sephora. And I just hate the balms packaging. I think this is a really pretty color, but I just, this is just too much for me. I don't like this. Okay, I have another box of kind of face products here. This is another super old product in my collection. I remember I bought this when I worked at Ulta so long ago, but I did use this a lot for just like a body bronzer. So, so old. This Kosa bronzer I just bought less than a year ago. This color is way too red for me. I cannot get it to work. This will be donated for sure. Again, another product where I should have exchanged it when I knew the color did not work. I have these Sigma Beauty bronzers in dark and deep. Like, why did I keep these? I know these won't work for me. I even swatched them, so these will be donated because these are brand, brand new. And then I have a Sigma highlighter in the shade Golden Hour. It's just way too dark for me. This will be donated for sure. I have a couple Benefit products here. I don't support or use Benefit anymore, and these are all just really old in my collection, so these are gonna go. I bought this Artist Couture highlighter a while ago. Again, it's too dark for me. Don't know why I kept it. Didn't really like it. This is another really old product in my collection. It's the, I keep saying Laura Geller, Laura Mercier Baked Bronzer. I actually got a lot of use out of this. This was my favorite one for a while. It used to be domed. It's pretty flat right now, but this is just old, old, old. This one was pretty new. I think I bought this less than a year ago. It's the Hourglass Highlighter. I just don't like this color that much. This will be donated. Um, I have another Laura Mercier Matte Bronzer. Not a good color for me, so this one's gonna go. Getting rid of highlighters was really hard for me, but let's do this. I have these two by Nabla. I did like them. I got some decent use out of this, but I just have other ones that I want to get more use out of now. Ofra Rodeo Drive, such a classic, but again, just pretty old in my collection. This ColourPop one, I liked how big this one was. This was kind of fun to use, but... I just, I don't use ColourPop as much. The Fenty Beauty Duos, I definitely bought this when it first came out. So this one's also really, really old. And I just didn't really like the formula. Like this side's pretty, never really knew what to do with this side. I have this Melt Cosmetics highlighter I bought myself in the shade Stargazer. It's really pretty, but I have other formulas I like more than this. I have this Wet n Wild Loose highlighter. Like this is gorgeous, but this is just so much product I'm not gonna get enough use out of. It's pretty old now. The rest of these are just old in my collection. A CoverGirl, this Essence Pure Nude, is kind of a good dupe for an hourglass ambient lighting powder though. I will say that. This little Ofra one with five colors in it. I did like this one, it was kind of fun. And then this e.l.f. one, I did not like the formula, so. Goodbye to all of these. Okay, now eyeliners was another tricky category for me to go through because I always think, oh, I'm gonna use this colorful eyeliner. No, I have not. And I just wanna say like all these ColourPop ones were sent to me four or five years ago, I think, because they sent like a big box of their eyeliners. So all these ColourPop ones are just so, so old. Never use bright colors like this anymore. The eyeliners that I did keep are more jewel tones. So you'll see that in my makeup inventory, but these just gotta go. Like when have I ever used these colors? Never. Again, I have some more ColourPop singles. These were from the Raw Beauty Christie collection, and I really wanted to keep these just because I love Christie, but 
I'm never gonna use these, so why, why hold on to them? They don't really have that much special meaning to them, so I don't need them. When I was going through my eyeliners, I totally forgot I even owned this. This was a Huda Beauty, like, double-ended one. I really did like this pencil side. I don't even know if they still make it anymore, but, like, this was black, black, but this is old, old, old. I have a couple Sigma bases in here. Um, I'm getting rid of these darker shades I don't really like. I also know these are really old because this is not their current logo. Um, so those are gonna go. I have this Sigma Brow Wax I don't like, so getting rid of these. These products are by Guide Beauty that are meant to like help stabilize your hand if you have shaky hands when applying eyeliner or mascara. I did one video with these and then never touched them again, so these are gonna go. I do have a lot of Makeup Geek eyeliners in here too, which are really old because again, I think they sent me this PR, I wanna say like four years ago, of a bunch of their eyeliners. And while I do really like the colors, like these are colors I would totally wear now, these are just too old and they're not as creamy as they used to be. Just kind of sorting through these here, getting rid of the ColourPop ones I've talked about. And again, same situation with these Urban Decay ones. These were sent to me, I wanna say like six years ago. It was a long ass time ago. And I have a couple Urban Decay ones that I kept that I can like sharpen up, but these ones I have not used in the years that I've had them. So why am I hanging on to these? This KVD Shake Primer, this was a very interesting product. I don't think I liked it. Haven't used it since I bought this. Okay, the rest of these are just not very important. There's some House Labs liners in here. I didn't really like their regular formula like this, so these are all going to go. I am getting rid of all of these face palettes that I had in my collection. I had this one drawer dedicated to these. I have not picked up any of these in so, so long. So let's quickly go through these. Urban Decay Naked Cherry. I really like this highlighter. Old, don't need it. I used to love this Cheek Parade palette. Like this Hoola has a pretty big dip in it, but it's just old, it's big, it's clunky. I don't use Benefit anymore. Even these Sigma palettes here, I kind of have all these shades and singles now. Like this was their highlight palette. You know, here is Sizzle. I already have that one. Twilight I have. So I don't need to keep this whole palette when I have them in singles. ColourPop in Nudendo. Oh my gosh, this was such like a good dupe of the Anastasia Glow Kits, but haven't used this, don't want to. A Pixie Blush palette, didn't really like this formula. Also just these colors are just not good. It's Ofra Glow Up one with all these highlighters in it. Like this is a cute idea, but I'm never gonna use all this. I will be donating these three by Sigma. They're their little highlighter and blush duos here. Like these are really cute. But like Sigma, can we switch it up a little bit? I see how they look different on camera, but I don't know. I just, I would like some more variety. So these will all be donated. This Cover FX palette is very, very old. It's got to go. Is BH Cosmetics still a brand? Why do I feel like they're not even a brand anymore? I don't know. These shades were way too soft for me. Never really used it. And then the last five things are eyeshadow palettes. Um, I did already talk about these in my ranking palettes video where I have decluttered these. So Avatar palette, don't use. And the Limelight palette, don't use. Okay, I'm gonna try to get off of ColourPop's PR list this year. I just don't use their products more than once and I just hate how they come out with so many collections. I'm honestly just sick of it, I'm over it. These two palettes were ranked really low in that video so I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter them now. This is the Tarte Sunrise palette. This will be donated because it is still pretty new and it's a decent beginner palette but I personally don't like this. And then the Violet Voss Take Flight palette. I did not like this one very much. This will be donated as well. Okay, I did it. I went through all those products with you guys. I did a rough count and it was over 200 products I am getting out of my collection. And honestly, it feels so good, but I am kind of disappointed just in all of this waste. But I'm kind of hoping now that I've kind of changed my mindset, I'm going to change my shopping habits and kind of set a beauty budget that I won't ever have to do a big declutter like this ever again. I really only want to bring products in my collection that I know I'm going to love and get some decent use out of. And like I said, going through these products really showed me that there are some categories that I just don't need to purchase any more products in. For example, like all the single liquid eyeshadows I don't use. I'm hoping I can be more picky in my future purchases and the PR that I open. Again, next week I will be doing a makeup inventory, so I haven't even started that process yet, but I'm going to count all of the products I have in my collection, even my eyeshadow palettes. So it's going to be a crazy time. So if you want to see that video, stay tuned. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.